Good morning, my children, and welcome to your English class, the class of the teacher Jacob. So, today, my children, we're going to continue with the review of all previous topics that we have been working since today one. Remember, this is very important because in some occasions we tend to forget objects, letters, and numbers. So this is the main purpose of the review. Recuerden, pequeños, que es importante repasar todo lo que hemos estado trabajando, letras, números, objetos, porque pues a veces se nos olvidan. Entonces este es el propósito del repaso. Now, besides the review, it's important because the letters or the objects, I'm sorry, the objects, we're going to associate it, we're going to mix them with sentences. Aparte de ser un simple repaso, también la, los objetos que hemos estado trabajando los vamos a integrar, los vamos a mezclar con oraciones, ¿ok? Recuerden que una oración es un conjunto de palabras que tienen un significado. Now, let's see. Today, we're going to work with three objects that we have been working on the, on the teddy book, starting with the dog. We have a dog. We have an, a doctor. And finally, we have a doll. Now, here is something interesting. The dog, the doctor, and the doll These three words begin with the letter D of Diego, ¿ok? Los tres objetos que aparecen atrás de mí, todos estos empiezan con la letra D. The letter D of Diego, ¿ok? Now, we are going to make sentences with each one of these objects starting with the dog. Now, as you can see here, this dog is the one that appears in the movie The Secret Life of Pets. Okay, este perro que aparece aquí aparece en la película de la vida secreta de las mascotas. And the name of this dog is Max. So, first of all, Max, is he a boy or a girl? I know that it's an animal and is it. Yo sé que es un animal, yo, eh, es un animal, por lo tanto tenemos que poner it. Pero única vez por esta ocasión vamos a ver. Eh, vamos a cambiarlo. Is he a boy or a girl? ¿Ustedes creen que Max sea niño o niña, por así decirlo? Boy, ¿ok? So, if it's a boy, como es niño, ¿qué pronombre vamos a utilizar? Recuerden que los pronombres son mmm, palabras pequeñas que usamos en lugar de decir el nombre completo de una persona. En lugar de decir Maximiliano, like it's a long name, como es un nombre muy largo, únicamente vamos a utilizar un pronombre que en esta ocasión es he. Okay? So, instead of saying uh, the name of the dog, we are going just to say he, él, he, aquí ya lo pone, tenemos, he is, él es, he is Max. Él es Max. Ese es el nombre que le estamos dando a, a este personaje de aquí. ¿Ok? Now, let's continue with another sentence, another idea. Vamos a continuar con otra idea acerca de este animalito. ¿Ok? Now, he is, él está, he is. Now, as you can see here in the picture, como pueden ver en la imagen, the look of the dog is sad. ¿Ok? It's not happy like this. He's sad. So, he is, él es, he is a sad dog. Es un perro triste. Okay? Let's repeat the sentence one more time. He is Max. Él es Max. He is a sad dog. Él es un perro triste. Okay, very good. Let's continue with the second object. For the second object, one more time, we have a doctor, okay? Now, this doctor, is he a boy or a girl? A girl, okay? So, for the girl, we have to use what pronoun? Recuerden el pronombre que teníamos que utilizar cuando hablábamos de una niña? The pronoun is she, okay? Instead of saying Clarissa, en lugar de decir Clarissa, que es un nombre muy largo, 
we are only going to say she. Únicamente podemos utilizar she, que en español quiere decir ella, y así podemos eh, dirigirnos de esa persona de una forma más cortita, ¿ok? En lugar de decir Melissa, Clarissa, nombres que son muy largos, únicamente decir she, y damos a entender que nos estamos refiriendo a una niña. Very good. So, she is... Ella es, what is she? ¿Qué es? Is she a postman, un cartero, a fireman, bombero? What is it? A doctor, ¿ok? She is a doctor. Ella es un doctor, ¿ok? Let's continue with another idea. Vamos con una segunda idea en base a este dibujo. She is, ella es, ahora vamos a hablar de alturas. Now, uh, probably all of you know this character from the cartoon Doctora Juguetes, I think that's the name of the cartoon, okay? Ustedes ya lo conocen. The character in that cartoon is a personaje de esa caricatura speaking about size, hablando de tamaño. Is she tall or short? Short, she is short, okay? So the second idea is, la segunda idea is, she is, ella es, she is short, ella es pequeña. Very good, excellent. So let's repeat the two ideas, the two sentences. Vamos nuevamente a repetir las dos ideas. Remember, the teacher Jacob says it first, yo lo digo primero, and then you repeat it so I can hear your pronunciation. She is a doctor. Ella es un doctor. She is short. Ella es pequeña. Very good. Excellent pronunciation, my children. Let's continue with the third object. So once again, here for number three, we have a doll. Okay? Now, This doll is, uh, she has a name. I'm going to tell you the name in a few seconds. But first of all, let's check one more time the general, okay? Vamos a ver una vez más if she is a boy or a girl. So the doll that is right here, do, uh, boy or girl? She is a girl. So what pronoun are we going to use? ¿Qué pronombre es el que vamos a utilizar para niña? She. Very good. So. She is, ella es, she is Bob Pip. Okay? In Spanish, you know it as Betty. But in English, with the teacher Jacob, is Bob Pip. That's the original name from this character of the movie Toy Story. Ese es el nombre real en inglés de este personaje, Bob Pip. So, one more time. She is, ella es, she is Bob Pip. Okay? Or if you want to say Betty, there is no problem. She is Betty. Now let's continue with the second idea. Otra idea. She is, ella es, what is she? Que era? Dog, a car, uh, a cowboy, what is it? A doll. Okay? So, she is, ella es, she is a doll. Ella es una muñeca. One more time, we're going to say the two ideas, okay? Remember, the teacher Jacob says it first, yo lo voy a decir primero, and then you're going to repeat it so I can hear the pronunciation. She is Bob Pip. Ella es Bob Pip or Betty. She is, ella es, she is a doll. Ella es una muñeca. Very good, excellent pronunciation and good job because you pay attention and the teacher is very happy. Now remember my children, it's very important that from now on, de ahora en adelante, all of the objects of the review, todos los objetos que hemos estado trabajando en nuestros repasos, como la a ties, las corbatas, doll, dog, a doctors, all of these objects, es importante que ya nos empecemos a juntar con oraciones porque de esa forma nosotros ya vamos a, pre a poder aprender a hablar inglés como el teacher Jacob. So it's very important that you pay attention, you concentrate, ok, 
okay? And you remember all of the activities. It's important to remember all of what we are working on. Okay, very good. So that's it for today, my children. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Take care. Goodbye.